What is up? And in today's video, we're going to be going over all the features of this right here, the automotive taser. Now, let's get inside the car, because sorry for the wind. Just want to get a little shot of it, but storm is a coming. First off, the easiest thing, just plugging it in. That's the whole installation. All you do is just plug it in the OBD2 port right underneath here. All you do is just plug it in right there, as you can see, and I mean, it's easy as that. Now you can either just leave it plugged in all the time like I do because I don't see any reason to unplug it or you can plug it in, turn on the features that you want like say paddle shifters and then you can unplug it. If you have like maybe a tuner or something you want to plug in there, whatever it is, you can either have it unplugged or plugged. Now half the features I'll go over do not work unless it is plugged in but most of the features like paddle shifters, performance pages, things like that all work with it plugged in or not plugged in. Got the car up and running here. I want to go over all the features that it has. I highly recommend you guys, if you guys do get the automotive taser, and by the way, this is all the vehicles that it is compatible with, as you guys can see right there. Um, highly recommend you go on their website, print out their um, instruction booklet, because it gives you a lot of information here. And like otherwise, I wouldn't know what to do. I'd just keep this in the car at all times, and just, you know, just throw it in the glove box over there. But. Let's go over, just go through down. You guys can pause the screen, see what features there are. It's pretty simple, I mean, a lot of stuff there. I will be going over um, exactly how to get to everything, how to turn things on, things like that. But here's continued. Then here's how to you know, install the taser, as simple as just plugging it in. And here's how to access all the screens and what they do go through this here in a minute but in order to actually access the um, setup menu you have to be engine on or the ignition on but the engine not running otherwise you can't access it or you can but it'll be a different menu it'll be this menu which is on the next page here it'll be this is just continuation continuation and this will be the while the engine is running these are the other features that it does have by the way all this writing here this is what my car came standard with. You definitely want to write down what your car, you just want to go through the, when you first get it, you want to go through all the um, thing, all the um, features here and just see what your car says and write them down. I just wrote them down real quick, just to make sure that in case I do want to take this back to the dealership, get, you know, get something fixed or something, that I can just go put it right back to stock. It'll be like nothing ever even happened. But here's more of the features. These are the ones. And here's the lot, none menu live functions just work all the time as long as it is plugged in as you can see you got line lock there and you got things like full um, ECS disabled sport mode I've actually never tried either one of these yet I think I'll give it a try here towards the end of the video but we'll see I'm not gonna do any burnouts or anything but definitely go through it all just more of the features continued light show key fob I do have a um, full video going over this or have a full video showing all the light shows that it comes with. I'll put it at the very end of this video. It's at night and it just goes through all the um, light shows and you used by the key fob. And you have all these other features. Shift, cool down mode, button remap. This would be really cool if you're like tracking your car, go on the drag strip and you have, you know, like a Hellcat or anything you can obviously just have it all cool down for you here's just a little troubleshooting page that they have in case anything goes wrong because some features won't work on some cars like some builds of cars because obviously there's so many different there's you know a v6 a v8 a big v8 6.4 the hemi there's um hellcat i mean there's so many different combinations of cars and different options like this car doesn't have the super track pack down there it can have the super track pack there can be an srt button there can be a launch button there's so many different ways that these cars are all built that there is some you know minor problems that you can just fix by either changing some settings or if you mismatch them or anything okay so first off i'm going to just go over some of the live features that require the taser to be plugged in which is these the light show doesn't require it to be plugged in that's just another way of accessing is through here but these are some things that you need to have the taser plugged in for like line lock things like that but these ones are non-live you do not have to go through the menu screen that's what that means but um, these ones you have to go through the menu screen none of these really apply to my car because I mean I don't have navigation light show that's you can access anywhere camera I don't have any excess cameras peak RPM that's one that I can use don't have all-wheel drive I already have a 0 to 16 and a 0 to 30 these are only for Dodge Durango's and that just shows the firmware so this is the live features I guess I'll just show you the one that my car um, a plot or my car can use which all you gotta do is just go to the um, audio screen here just go down to that 
and once you get there you just hold you just hold this button and to navigate it you press the um, it's the cancel button so just hold this and I'm going to have to try to use this while holding my phone but as you can see light show pressing it in motion video sorry for the screen but I'm like trying to hold the camera and press it but go through it like peak RPM this is one I can use so I can just let go of everything now and if you see I am in park let's put it in drive and you can actually see it'll show every time it shifts see it'll show the RPM of actually when the transmission shifts see it shifted right there at 5700 RPM I mean it's pretty cool actually this is actually my first time actually using it is in this video right now I've actually never used it before and it's actually pretty neat like I've never used any life functions I'm just demonstrating them right now but I've gone through and used all of the um, functions that you can set well the um, vehicle you know is off and everything those ones I've used all those I'll go over those here in a minute but just want to show you one of the live features and now to exit the menu all you got to do is just hold this button and the um, the um, what is that the res resume or whatever you just press that and resume and now you're out of the menu safely that's how you're supposed to exit the menu at all times you always exit it by pressing the left arrow and the resume to go through the menu it's left arrow and then you press the cancel and to change any settings in the menu it is left arrow and the cruise control button so now let's go over to other features like line lock full um, ESP disable I haven't actually tried that and my car already comes with sport mode so I don't need to put on sport mode as mine already has it but this one right here, I can't seem to get work. Maybe it's just something with my car, but or I'm probably doing something wrong. But line lock, I just actually tried it for the first time. It's actually pretty neat. Um, let's go over it right now. So what you do is you hold, well, the car's just in drive. Car's in drive right now. I'm just, you know, I can let off the brake and move forward. And all you gotta do is you hold this button right here, which I'm gonna have to hold this, and then I'm gonna press the set button the plus button right here so hold this I'm gonna press it with my other hand over here and this starts happening on the screen and then all I do is pump the brakes twice just give it two good pumps and I'm still holding this right here and I can step on the gas and then I let go and it is pretty crazy it is a full line lock feature right there that is <laughs> it really does it's weird you hold on to this and then you let go it actually like gets the tires going and spinning and it's pretty crazy so it's a pretty cool line lock feature that way you don't have to um, ruin your back brakes it's crazy because when I did the burnout like I could feel it when I was just holding on the um, brake and then pressing the accelerator I could feel the resistance with the rear tires because I was you know going through and I was having to go against the rear brakes but now with the line lock it locks the front brakes unlocks the rear brake so your tires can just spin freely like extremely easy so pretty cool feature there I don't want to do too much here I'll go show you what I just did there as you can see I just did the little tiny ones right there that was just barely even just getting on the gas like I just barely just like went just a tiny bit maybe like 10 maybe 15 percent throttle just to show you guys really the line lock work and it's pretty crazy I cannot wait to try it out the next time I do a burnout which definitely will be doing when it's time to get new tires definitely for sure but those are pretty much all the live features for at least my car as if you don't have sport mode you can put a sport mode in it'll be just be accessed through I think it's your um your what is it the um, traction control button but it's gonna get hot in here so we're gonna turn off the car and we're gonna go through all these settings or normal settings that you would access and turn on things like you know accessing paddle shifters and other things like that so now with the car completely turned off to access any features all you want to do is just accessory on there we go and I'm gonna just turn my AC off don't want to have it on but to go through the menu we're already in the audio screen so again this button right here and the cruise control button is how we access it and first one will be light show then press the button again we have clear CELs which is uh, just your codes or anything you want to clear any codes that your car is throwing up at you and then after that, you have your sport mode for 5-speed, which I don't have a 5-speed, so just leave that a yes. I have the 8-speed, yes, it's already like that, so just leave that. SRT no, which 
I don't have that turned off. I haven't messed with it. Performance pages. These are your performance pages. I have those set to yes. These were turned off as my car does not have the super track pack. Paddles. That's how I got the paddle shifters right here. And just turn that on as it was off. This is your tire pressure monitoring system. There's actually three levels. There's like a low. Depends on what your car has. You know, if it just the the um, what's it called the light, whether it comes on or off, or the um, premium is what that means. Means it shows you all your individual tire pressure sensors. Then that is the um, camera enabled for your backup camera. Say you add a factory, uh, factory backup camera because it is just in a spoiler on these challengers, so you can add the backup camera, and that's how you enable it. This is your um, driving light drop, as the challengers don't have it. So when you turn on your turn signal over here, the um, actual running lights in the front of the car, those LEDs, they'll actually turn off on Chargers, on you know Jeeps, on Durangos. They'll actually turn off, but challengers, they don't turn off, so I just lit, left that as it is. But say if you have a charger and you want to keep your awesome you know LED light that goes around your headlights on while you turn your turn signal on, you just set that to... Um, I think you set that to no or you set that to yes you can just play around with it to get what you want then the type usa that just, just says what type it is like some in some um, countries you have to keep it on all the time your driving lights and some you don't this is um driving light lock which is your turn signal or this is your actual driving light you can set what driving light you want you can have your headlights on all the time you can have your fog lights on all the time you can change that Here's your fog lights enabled. Say you want to add act factory fog lights. Say your car is just a base SXT, doesn't have fog lights. There you go, you can add fog lights right here with the taser. This is your fog light drop. I'll have a clip of this at the end of the video. It's actually the headlights. Because when you have the um when you have your just you have your regular head low beams, then you turn on your high beams, it'll actually turn off your fog lights because I guess it's too bright. I don't know if it's just regulation or whatever. But this right here, I turned it to off, it was on, and so now I can have my high beams and my fog lights on at the same time. This is your belt ding right here, your seat belt. I don't have it plugged in because I'm just sitting here. But this, you can turn off the ding, it'll still come up in the um, screen right there. I always wear my seat belt, like I feel naked without it. I, I like wearing my seat belt, but if you don't like the ding, like I don't, you know, if I'm just moving my car real quick, I don't want to hear that stupid ding, you can turn it off. This is steering. My car doesn't have, you know, different steering modes or anything. This is if you have like a Scat Pack or, a, you know, Hellcat or SRT, you can change, you can turn on different steering modes. This is your camera, just your grid lines for your camera. I want to keep those on. This is DVD if you put in a DVD, CD player, add something like that. This is your super track pack. This is what will usually get you your performance pages, little performance app right there in the um, Uconnect screen. The other one, the performance pages, will get it in this screen, the EVIC right here, whereas the super track pack for most cars will enable it over here. So I turn that on since I don't have the super track pack. Then this is drive modes, which just applies for 6.4 liter cars or scat packs or SRTs. You can turn on drive modes for my car. All it does is it doesn't do anything. It, it'll like it'll, it'll show me the option, but it, I can't actually change it in the screen since mine is just a V6. Then you got your trans. This is what changes your transmission. This is what your sport mode button. So every time you know you press your sport mode, the transmission you know changes to you know it'll hold gears longer and things like that, and it'll drop down into lower gears. Which this was already on, so I left it on. Um, shift light. I actually just turned this on. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know if it works for my car, but I'm going to give it a try. We'll see. Maybe I'll try using the paddle shifters here in a minute and see if it does work or not on my car. This is the splash screen. When your car comes on, it'll say Scat Pack. It'll say Hellcat, whatever. Say Challenger. Mine just says Challenger. I haven't changed it. This is your Eco Mode. This will help anyone who has the um, a Scat Pack again. If you have a Scat Pack, you can turn on Eco Mode or I think it's any SRTs. You can also turn on eco mode. I don't have eco mode. There's no option for it on my car, so don't have an eco mode. This is just the um, settings right here. This is just the um, version, the software version I have. I think this is the most current. I don't know. I almost want to say it's there's a newer version, but to update, you just go plug in your computer, you go to their website, download their software thing where you can actually read everything, and um, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's it's really easy. And then that's it right there. That's the end of the screen. To exit, you just press the resume. 
and there we go. Now I'm out of the screen. Now, that's pretty much, you know, that's how you go through the screen for a taser. Now, I wanna show you guys how to actually change something since my car is completely off here. I've actually wanted to try, I wanna see how to turn on, what is it, the, the um, SRT. So let's go through here, light show, clear CLs, sport, eight speed. Now we're at SRT. I wanna see what happens if I turn on SRT. So I'm gonna press the cruise control middle center button there, and we're gonna see. There we go, I just set it. Whoa. This is crazy. I'm going through it. It just turned it on just that easy, wow. I just set SRT. I didn't even think it'd be that quick. Because usually when um, I activated my performance pages and everything else, when I turned all the other stuff, I had to do a full sleep cycle. I probably should do one right now, but I'm just gonna mess around, go through the um, screens here again and try to go through this, because I think it changed it. Yeah, it put me all the way up to vehicle info. But it changed the font on everything, which is pretty cool. It made it all SRT font. It's pretty nice. So as you can see there, it was, I mean, simple as that. Let's see, it's, see, it's still on right here. See, if you press it again, or I have to hold this button and press it, hold on. Hold the button, press it. So I just turned it off now. See, I didn't do a sleep cycle. See, now it says Challenger. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna do a sleep cycle and then we're gonna start the car again. See, now it just changed the font. See, this is just a normal Challenger font that you get with a V6 or an RT or anything. And we're gonna go back and we're gonna set that to on since it still is in the screen. See, I never actually exited out, so I need to exit out too. So we're going to set this to off, on. And now we're gonna go through here, go back. I don't know why it pulls me up to that page there. It usually, like if I were to go change a setting, it would just um, change it right here and not you know, reset everything. But we're gonna exit out of the screen there you go, we are exit, and we are going to turn the car completely off. We're going to do a sleep cycle on it. And you should do this every time you do change a setting. Look at that. It changed the button to red. That's pretty cool there. So I'm going to get out the car, let every electronic die out. This is what you should do when you do it, because when I um, actually turned on the paddle shifters for the first time, they didn't work the first time. I had to do another. I went in back into the screens, and I turned it off, turned it back on again, and then I let the car do another full sleep cycle in order for the paddle shifters to work. I had to do two sleep set, um, sleep cycles and I had to turn them off and on twice in order to forget to them to work. But otherwise, everything else worked right after one sleep cycle. As you can see, the SRT turned on right away, but I'm just gonna get out the car, let all electronics, you know, go through a sleep cycle. It takes about two or three minutes and then I'm gonna get right back in. It is dusty and windy out there, but let's do this. Oh, let's get inside before the dust storm hits. There's so much dust everywhere. Ah, oh, okay. So just a little sleep cycle. Let's start it up. Turn it on. Ooh, look at that. It throws like a screen behind it. I don't know if that's like a... Wow. That's kind of cool. And I'm not getting any type of airbag message. It says it does get an airbag message if you turn on SRT on any other car. Or on the um, chargers, at least. But trying it here with the um, Challenger... I'm not getting any type of menus here. I'll show you guys the other features that come with. Here are the performance pages. Right here, you can load them up up here. Man, this is really nice. I love the new font you can change it to. See, like, the Taser I definitely think is worth the upgrade. I'm gonna go back up here, show you guys. By the way, my miles per gallon are terrible because I idle a lot and I drive nothing but city, so that's why my MPG is so bad. But as you can see here, this is pretty cool. You get a SRT. Um, little drive. Ah, that's pretty cool. Add some cool little touches there. Changed all the um, all of these um, numbers and letters. Changed it to a cool SRT font, which is pretty cool. Look at that. Air intake template. It's 150 degrees out, or the air at least for that. As you can see, a little horsepower. Love this. Love it. Definitely one of the best things I've done is getting this taser, but. As you can see, you get all these pages right here, I'm trying to get it so you guys don't have no air pointing at the camera directly. But as you can see, you get timers, or I didn't press that right. You get all your first gauges, you get your coolant, oil pressure, you get your timers right here, all those. I haven't done any runs since I've actually gotten the taser, so I don't have any times. Like my best is 6.8, that's from when I actually got the car long time ago. That's 
I got that because the car only had like 420 something miles, so I haven't done anything crazy yet with the car. So I'm definitely gonna have to go try that out soon. I'm, I'm waiting until it pretty much just gets cooler outside because otherwise I'm not gonna get any good temperatures. But oh yeah, let's almost skip gauge two here, where you can see you get battery voltage, air intake temperature, and you get your trans temp. You get your G-forces, which are pretty cool. Look at this, I got the peak G-forces up to 0.9. Almost a full G there, that's pretty crazy. I love it, I, I played around with this one for sure. Love driving the car. And of course you get your power, which you can just... Really cool, really nice there. I love this, love the feature here. And that's pretty much there for that. You have performance control, which hasn't worked for my car, but now, Whoa, that's new, shift light. Look at that. So it was in the cluster, what? Shift light on, see I haven't played with this. I, I'm still barely playing with it, see? See, it's not working. See, this is what I was talking about, about the um, some of the features not working, because this is just a V6. Here, I'm actually gonna go in here, and I'm gonna turn the drive mode on, because I wanna see if I have all of them on, if it'll all work. Here we go, let's turn See, there's Super Track Pack Drive Mode. See, I had this turned on and it wasn't working, but now that we have the SRT turned on, let's turn that on and just go to the next thing here. Let's just turn and get out of this page. And we're gonna do another sleep cycle here. And let's see, let's power it on. And let's try this out because I did turn on Shift Light a while ago and I had never used or seen it in there yet. So just set that to on. We'll just go back up to your like speedometer or something and I'm just going to put the vehicle in drive, that way in case I do set anything it will be like functional or whatever, but let's go over here, performance pages, already went through that, awesome features that you get. As that loads, I have really love the new screen that you get up there with the SRT, I've never tried the SRT, and it's pretty cool that you get, you still get the Challenger, but you get the cool red around it, it's really nice, but oh yeah, and also I can show you guys little pictures here. That's what it comes with when it turns on, but since I don't have an RT, I'd rather just see the back of a charger because it looks normal, you know. But let's go up here to performance control. And see, now I have shift light and all this other cool stuff. Now, let's see if we can actually do a drive mode. See, like before, if I wanted to do anything, it wouldn't change. So let's see if we can change a sport mode. See? Okay. Oh, wow. It actually changed over there. What am I doing? Let's see. It's a sport mode. Let's see if I can put this up here. See, look, it just goes right back. See, it won't work on the V6. You have to have an S or a scat pack in order for things like this to work. Or you probably just have to have the um, Super Track Pack already done. I mean, it varies from build to build. You know, every car comes with different options. And some options will work with the Taser better, some won't. As you can see, I, I can't change any drive modes. But let's go back here, and I want to see if we can get the shift light to engage. So it says right there it's off. Let's see if I set this to on. No. See, I might as well not even have it on, because it won't work on my car. See, if you have an RT, maybe it'll work. If you have an RT with a Super Track Pack, maybe it'll work, but it doesn't work. Launch control, same thing. If I go over here to activate launch control, it's supposed to come up over here saying, you know, do whatever. See right here? comes up follow the instructions on the instrument cluster there is no instructions on the instrument cluster although look at this it does say sport up there that's different I guess I have sport engaged do I maybe I do wow that's kind of weird but as you can see vehicle launch follow instructions you know there is no launch control you know I can't do anything so we're just gonna exit out of here and Basically, let's see. Can I turn sport off? I'm gonna press the sport button. It seems like it's in sport all the time now. I don't know what I did there when I was going through the performance control, but cancel launch control. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, cancel. Can I turn sport off? Okay, I press the sport button and it's changing it. See, that's why I haven't been really messing around with it because it doesn't all work with certain builds. But I mean, for what it is though, 250 bucks I was able to get paddle shifters to work which is awesome I was able ooh, that changes a little screen up there too look at that I like that but I was able to get paddle shifters to work 
I was able to get performance pages, which are pretty dang awesome, especially if you don't have them already. But I don't think anything's gonna work here in the performance page. That's why I had drive modes turned off. I think I'm just gonna go dr turn drive modes off again as I can't get sport mode off now. I don't know why. See, everything's in sport. Maybe if I go over here to default. Okay, so now everything's in default. There we go. So I guess like this is like a sport button. Oh, look at that. It's actually letting me change it in the default menu. I can change my default sport there. That's pretty cool. So I guess some of it does work. See, I can change it to comfort. And let's see. Oh yeah, that's some loose steering right there. Let's go back over here. Let's change it to sport. And yeah, it's definitely a lot more tighter now. I can definitely feel that it is better. So, I mean, some things do work, some things don't. I can always change this right here. I can change this just by going to settings, going to driving assistance, and that's how I would change it normally on just a, you know, without it. I mean, every car, you can change the steering on any car that allows it. You just go to the settings and you can change it yourself. But that's kind of cool though, you can set it up here, but a sport mode doesn't work. I mean, it just turned on sport mode, but that's all it did. It didn't actually let me change anything. See, I go over here, try to change that, and it just goes back. So, I mean, it's different for every car. I definitely do think the Taser is worth it, especially if you're gonna add something like paddle shifters, if you're gonna add the um, backup camera, if you're gonna add, what is it, fog lights. I definitely think it's worth the upgrade, I mean, works different on every car. I think I'm just going to turn the shift light off here because it doesn't work. Look at it, the little setup button. What does that say? Turn on shift light to use it, but I go over here, try to turn it on, it doesn't press on. So, I mean, it's different for every car. If I had a V8, if I had a scat pack, all these options right here would work. I definitely think the Taser is best fitted with a scat pack because it really does, it unlocks all the SRT pages for you basically and it's really nice. Let's go, there's my little overview of the Taser going through everything. I think I'm just gonna turn drive mode back off because it doesn't work on a V6. I'm going to probably, I actually might leave SRT on because since I do have a Challenger, it doesn't set off any um, warning lights. I'm gonna keep that on because I think it's pretty cool. But I'm gonna turn drive modes, I'm gonna turn the shift light off because again, doesn't work on my car, probably works on RTs or, or um, scat packs. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this helped any of you guys out there, help you make a decision whether or not you want to buy a Taser or not. I definitely think it's worth it, especially adding paddle shifters or anything else to your car. It really does benefit every single model, whether it's you know getting those really cool base features or giving you the more upper level features on like a scat pack or anything. But definitely really nice. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Like the video if you thought this was any way helpful. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links in the description. Now I'm going to... Before you guys leave, I'm gonna have all the clips of the, what is it, the fog lights working and the light show. So stick around, light show and the fog lights clips will be right here at the end. See you guys later, see you in the next video. Here we are, it's about 10.30 at night. Here is what it is, as you can see right there. See the little light there. This is just the standard headlights and I will say these are stock headlights, so I don't know how good they are. I can definitely tell they do not look as good on camera as they are in person, but here's just the stock headlights by themselves. Now here is with the fog lights on. As you can see, it brightens up both sides pretty well here. So before, after, it was a pretty good job. That is the most you can do without the taser right there, or fog lights off with high beams on, which on camera doesn't look like much, but there's actually, if I go up here, there's that little berm, there's a whole nother big berm that goes all the way across that I can see now, which I couldn't see without the high beams, but Without the taser, you cannot have the high beams and the fog lights on at the same time. If I were to turn on the um, high beams while the fog lights are on, it would turn them off. But now with the taser, I can turn both on, thus giving me a pretty good amount of light, which is pretty nice at night. It does make a pretty big difference. Here's without the high beams. I mean, high beams doesn't look like it does much, but when it comes, when I look through it through the camera, it doesn't do much. But when I look at it in actual you know, through my eyes. You know, I can see a lot more over here. I can see a whole wall over here. I can see a berm behind that little berm over there. And it actually does a pretty good job. Really definitely think it's a good thing with the taser, how you can do it. I don't know if it's, you know, safety mate might be too bright for oncoming traffic, but having the high beams with fog lights definitely does help as there's no more fog lights 
and fog lights do a big job. It really does do a good job at lighting up each side of the road, making it, you know, just a lot more safer. You know, you're able to see little animals or anything, you know, depending on where you're at driving. And does really do good because otherwise you can't have your high beams and fog lights on, which sucks. Here we are, pitch black, there's no moon from what I can see, and let's give a demonstration of the light show. I'm car is completely turned off, and I just press unlock, unlock, lock, and unlock. And there we go, here is the light show. It has nine modes. This is one, to cycle through them, all I have to do is press unlock. I can go through them, just press unlock, and I can do light shows just like this. As you can see, both the front lights and rear lights over here are going off. That was number three. I mean, these are pretty dang bright too. Like, look at this. It lights it up pretty good. Doesn't show as good on camera. I mean, I'm using a phone, but as you can see, number three is pretty cool. Look at that, it switches through them all pretty quick. This one actually activates the side front marker there. It's pretty crazy. Next one. This one goes through a little bit more. Next one, I think this is what, five? goes through, turns on side ones. Now there are customizable ones, I think it's six, seven, and eight, or actually it's seven, eight, nine, I think, is the customizable ones, which I really do not know how to customize, as they are pretty hard, or the software is actually pretty hard for at least me to figure out. I just went to the next one, I think this is six. As you can see, Trying to go back and forth here to show you both the front and back, but as you can see front is changing. And let's go to the next one. Doesn't seem to be that much different. Next one. Still, I think it's because these ones are the customized ones, they're all the same until I go and change them. And there we go, that's the last one. And that one seems to be more focused on the back as there isn't much on the front. <laughs> or actually, no, it seems to be moving. Now there's more on the front than here on the back, but as you can see, it's just going through them all. It's pretty crazy. This is like a really long one. <laughs> It's doing a lot of different stuff. I haven't pressed anything different. Those backlights are pretty dang bright. Man. And one more. And actually I just pressed unlocked and it turned it off. As you can see there was a little end anima animation over there. Here I'll start it up again so you guys can see it. But just all I gotta do is do unlock, unlock, lock, unlock, and that starts the show. Two, which I think two is probably my favorite, either two or I think three. Yeah, three is my favorite, as it looks kind of like a cop car, which is illegal by the way, but pretty cool. And then just unlock, and there you go. As you can see, it left one on. It's kind of weird. Okay, there we go. Seems like some of them have like a little end animation or like a light show at the end. It seems like a little doo -doo -doo -doo. But yeah, there's a little demonstration.